Scott is never leaving. Kanye is never leaving. Looks like you're never leaving. More like you're never leaving me. Oh, okay. Scott is never leaving. Kanye is never leaving. Looks like you're never leaving. More like you're never leaving me. Oh, okay. Scott okay. Guys, I had to record this video for the second time because I don't know why it didn't catch my commentary. But, um, <laughs> I know y'all just saw that clip. I, when I saw that on Twitter, I almost fell out of my chair because it's like, wow. But here's my thing. I'm going to do a second video because my sister said she didn't like the first video because I was chewing too much and I was like eating a lot and things like that. So, <laughs> I just want to make a short video about this again. Um... But this is more of a question for y'all. Do y'all think that Khloe Kardashian has a humiliation kink? Because that's what people are saying. Like, people say, like, you know, this has to be, like, a humiliation kink. Or, you know, she has, like, a, a shame kink. And, you know, because of her low self-esteem. And she, she just likes pain and, and being embarrassed. And some people are just saying, it, hey, like, you know, this is just for a storyline. This is just to get people to watch their show and to bring in money and things like that. And I feel like, you know, two things can be true at the same time. Like, everything can be true at the same time. You know what I mean? I do. I, obviously, for me personally, I do believe that she is doing this. Uh, yes, storyline to get views, money, things like that. Get people to run to the um, Hulu show. But I also think that Chloe also has a, a, a humiliation kink. You know, she just likes being embarrassed. She likes being humiliated publicly. <laughs> publicly, privately, everywhere. So it's like, I don't know. I just feel like, and I, yo, I love this meme. This meme is so hilarious, guys. The memes that come out of Twitter is just funny. But. I think that Chloe genu genuinely does have a shame. And I know people are going to be like, well, I f maybe she wants us to think that. She wants us to think that she has a shame king, but she's really doing this for money. And I'm going to be honest, honest with y'all. Anybody who's willing to get embarrassed like this for money, like, you really have some, like, you really must not have, like, some real morals. And I know, like, you know, the Kardashians in general don't have any morals about them, but this is, like, and I know, you know, Kim, you know, all of them are just, like, a bunch of weirdos and dummies and things like that. But it's, like, this is really, really, like, embarrassing. Like, if, even I would even say that Kim has a little bit more dignity than Chloe, And that's saying a lot because Kim made a whole sex tape. So, that that is saying a lot. Um, But, you know, personally, I believe that. Chloe wants to, I do think that she just wants to have a, another child with Tristan because all her other sisters have children by their men but the only thing is their men didn't cheat well I don't know about Scott but I know Kanye never cheated on Kim I know Travis never cheated on Kylie so and plus they all have children by them but in Chloe's situation her situation is more and, and the thing is it shouldn't be difficult but it is difficult because it's like girl had you just broke up with him the first time after the first time that he cheated on you, you wouldn't be in this kind of predicament. But because she wants to follow through her, her sister's footsteps and have kids with the same man, even though the man does not love you, and is not attracted to you. I'm going to get to that, too. I'm going to get to how Tristan is not attracted to Chloe. I don't care what none of y'all say. That man is not attracted to that woman and never has been attracted to her. So. But she still wants to have a baby and she wants to have a baby because she doesn't. Chloe doesn't acknowledge um Tristan's uh oldest child and now the youngest one and I in a way I can understand why she wouldn't acknowledge the youngest one because she feels like the that whole situation is the reason why her and Tristan are not together but the thing is Tristan is the one that procreated with that woman from Texas so it's like I don't know girl like <laughs> you you just gonna have to blame Tristan for that you cannot even blame the, the child the child has nothing to do with this um and as far as the first child, Chloe, at the end of the day, you got involved with a man who had a baby mama, who had a girlfriend that was eight months pregnant. Okay, I don't know what you thought this was. I don't know. Maybe you thought that Tristan, I don't know. Chloe doesn't acknowledge the first one either. So she's just trying to create this. Like, I personally, for me, I feel like Chloe wants True to be Tristan's only child and then this second child to be a second one but it's like that's not what it is that's not reality at the end of the day your husband I mean your well, not husband <laughs> your baby daddy is like 
he slings his penis around. I'm sorry. Like, he slings his penis around everywhere and anywhere. So, it's like, you're just going to have to deal with the consequences. And you don't want to leave him at that, too. So, it's like, you're just going to have to deal with the stress. And to get to Tristan, like I said, I don't I don't believe that Tristan was ever attracted to Chloe. Personally, I think that Tristan's type is more of the... the um the racially ambiguous exotical type of girls like i don't think that tristan if you look at the women that tristan tends to either cheat with or put babies in i know people are gonna be like well the, the third baby mama is white I, I, i'm gonna be honest with y'all i genuinely don't think that that was something where it's like i think tristan just wanted to smash and go the same way had chloe yeah, I think Tristan just wanted to smash and go, and the woman became pregnant. But like, and only, and the only reason why I feel like he put a baby in Chloe is because Chloe has clout. Chloe was more is more popular than him, and is a household name, and, and she has coin. If you have to be honest with you, had this woman Marley Nichols, whatever her name is, the one that he had a baby with, the third baby with, had has she been a big name and he got her pregnant, he will have no. He would have never even told her to get rid of the child. He would have told her to keep it. Okay? So let's be very clear. You know? But if you look at Tristan's type, his type is his baby, his first baby mama. His type is Jordan Woods. Even look at the women that he cheated on Chloe with when she when um when she was about to give birth to True. Those were racially ambiguous women. Go, go look go look back at that video with the Team Zim videos. Those were racially ambiguous, like exotical women. So it's like he likes the mixed girls type. Like, Chloe is not his type. Like, he does not like... I'm sorry. I don't care what nobody says. He does not like Chloe. He was never attracted to her. And honestly, I don't think that he loves her. He's ne- he's never loved her, if I'm going to be honest with you. Because, like... It, <sighs> he did this for Chloe. I don't care what nobody got to say. I think that, you know, Tristan... At the end of the day, wasn't at, before he got with Chloe. He wasn't a household name. He, we know, like he was in LeBron's basketball team in the, in the same team as him. But who do we know out of like? Because we like when it comes to basketball, right? When it comes to mainstream players, we think of Michael Jordan. We think of Kobe Bryant. We think of LeBron James. We think of Steph Curry. Tristan never came up on that list. It wasn't until he got with Khloe Kardashian is when we started to notice him. So let's be very clear. He used Chloe for clout, but I think that Chloe, at a certain point, I feel like Chloe knows that now, but she just doesn't care because she really wants that child, and she wants True to have like a a, a sibling that's like from the same father, so same mother, same father. And I also think that she's doing this for a storyline. She's doing this for some money. So you know, it is what it is. I, I think that this this whole situation is a mess. And that's the only way I can honestly justify it. And I also think that Chloe does have a humiliation kink. I think that she has, um, you know, an embarrassment kink or shame kink or what they say. So, um, but yeah, this is going to be like probably my last video on this situation. If anything comes up, if I'm interested in talking about it, I probably will. But as of right now, um, I just, when I, when this story broke, I was just like, oh my God, this girl is so fucking stupid. But anyway, guys, oh. Make sure to please like, comment, and subscribe. I do want to hear y'all guys' opinions on it. Do y'all guys think that Chloe has a humiliation kink or are you just doing this for storyline? Do you guys think that Tristan is actually attracted, has an attraction, and actually loves Chloe? Or don't y'all think so? Personally, I don't think he does. And do y'all guys think that Chloe will ever acknowledge Tristan's other children? <laughs> please like, comment, and subscribe. Please, please, please. Okay, get these subscriptions up, okay? Alright, bye guys.